What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's Blitz of the Day, we're going to focus on how to send pressure out of the 4-3 over formation. Uh, out of any play, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of universal stuff this week. So, uh, once again, we'll look, out, we'll look at this play from the cover six, and uh, we'll figure out how we can get universal pressure. So, if, out of any play in 4-3 over, what you need to do is, again, you want to base a line, spread your defensive line, and unlike the 4-3 under formation, uh, it's basically the 4-3 over is the flip of the 4-3 under. So, to get pressure off the left edge, we're going to crash our line to the left after we spread them. We're going to re-blitz our left of screen outside linebacker, and we're going to then proceed to spread our linebackers. And this is going to get uh, left edge pressure off of the left side there. I don't know what happened on that. Uh, sometimes these blitzes are a little finicky. You sometimes need to... Um, this season, uh, uh, definitely this season more than any other, uh, you, you may need to like maybe flinch uh, linebackers like th like this, maybe move them up just a little bit, and and there you see now the pressure's coming in pretty clean um, that time. So just some just some stuff there to keep you guys on your toes. Real quick, one other way you can do this is um, the only it's only uh, all the steps I just said earlier, and then just reblitz the left of screen defensive end, and now you see it's very clean. You don't even have to flinch anybody. So that's pretty nice there to have that easy pressure set up. And if we want to sit off the right side, uh, we're going to baseline and um, spread our defensive line, crash our defensive line to the left, spread our linebackers, globally reblitz our right of screen linebacker, and that's going to be Harrison, and then we're just going to... Uh, Reblitz Dunlap. I'm pretty sure you don't even have to move him over. You may actually... Oh, that's B-gap. We want to get it free off of the end so that it comes a little quicker. So in order to do that, I think we're going to have to do just like we did from the 4-3 under formation. Um, we're going to have to uh, click on to this guy here, move him over one step, reblitz him, and then click off to get him a little wider look. And that's going to force them to uh, have to have to account for him. I don't know what happened. I think I accidentally put the left of screen guy in his zone. Um, let me try that setup one more time. So once again, base a line, spread your defensive line, spread your linebackers, crash your defensive line to the left, click onto your right of screen uh, defensive end, move him over one notch, and then re-blitz him, and then globally re-blitz your right of screen uh, outside linebacker. And make sure you slide him Don't you so, so you can reset like that, and that's what we need. And then we'll just uh, sit there, use the middle linebacker, and we should get pressure off the right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong on the right, on the other side, opposite side, why they're still coming, why they are able to pick it up. It may just be, you may have to just stick with the B gap, but I'm pretty sure there's a way you can finagle it. Let me try maybe crashing the line out instead of crashing them to the left. Yep, that seems to be the uh, the problem. So, looks like the 4-3 over is a little bit different than the 4-3 under, uh, just in the way you crash your defensive line. So, instead of crashing them to the left every time, we're going to crash them out every time, uh, or crash them, it says point of attack and then edge rush, and then we're just going to do the same. Everything's the same after that, and now we're going to get the pressure. So, I apologize for, for making that mistake, guys. So and then, uh, obviously, if you want to get two-way pressure, you're going to do the same thing we did in the 4 3 You're going to re-blitz both outside linebackers with the line stunts that we just went over. So you're going to base a line. You're going to spread your defensive line. You're going to crash your defensive line out. You're going to re-blitz both outside linebackers and then spread them. And then you're going to click onto your right of screen defensive end and um, move him over one notch. And at the snap of the ball, you see we're going to get two guys free at the quarterback. This is good because if they try to block, uh, some people will try to pick up pressure by blocking tight ends or halfbacks. And uh, this blitz is going to still come in because you're shooting two free. So once again, here we go. Snap go. And you see you're still going to get that pressure off the left edge. So a uh, pretty good pressure here out of the 4-3 over. A lot of people underestimate it. I think it's one of the better formations uh, out of the 4-3 sets. Uh, be sure to come back tomorrow. We'll break down another formation uh, and how to get universal pressure out of it. If you have any questions about 4-3 over or have any problems with the pressure out of it, let me know. I'll try to answer your question as soon as possible. Use the comment section as a dialogue where you can post questions and uh, voice your concerns. Thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to come back tomorrow for another great Blitz of the Day. And also, if you have time today, I have some other videos coming out today that you may enjoy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.